Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Hope Thrift Store here in Kissimmee, Florida, right next to Walt Disney World, about six minutes away. And I wanted to come out and show you guys some of the amazing things that you can find here, like the unwanted stuff, old Disney merchandise, even things from Disney themselves, like from resorts and the parks, that they kind of just disregard it and they end up in a thrift store. And I thought it would be pretty fancy to show you. So, let's go do this. In the past, I've shown you guys some really super rare, valuable Disney props and movie memorabilia. And I'm going to have another video coming out shortly. Today is going to be a little bit different. Like I said, a lot of the stuff in here are hand-me-downs, donations, and things that are just disregarded by Disney themselves even. And I think it's worth showing you guys. The Hope Thrift Store is a great place. They have many of locations across Florida. And it actually goes to the uh, Hope House. So it's actually a charitable donation spot. But as you can see, as soon as we walk in, they've got a little sign here that says, Welcome to our thrift store, new in stock, Wilderness and Saratoga Springs Resort Furniture. We sell trading pins, and thank you for shopping. Happy New Year. So you know you're going to find a lot of fancy things in here. I'm not 100% on how a lot of this stuff actually ends up here. I would just assume that it is either donated by Disney themselves or maybe they do purchase it. But it's not like the really, really rare, like hidden Mickey things. Some of the items are though. But like it's not like the stuff you would find at like Forever Vintage or Lakeland Antique Mall. It's definitely going to show a lot of wear and tear. The first thing I want to show you guys are the Disney All-Star Music Resort telephones. How crazy is this? It has all the Disney buttons on it, even a room number. So this was room number 4633. You wouldn't expect to find this in a donation thrift store. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's kind of like shocking and it's uh, yours for the low, low price of 15 maybe $10. It's got the cords and everything. I'm sure we can't get a wake up call from Mickey though, but I still think that is so fascinating that this is here. I would be happy to say that I would be proud to own a Walt Disney World Resort phone. Actually, I do own one, and I think it's so cool. Like I said, you really can't find that in other thrift stores. Like, you, you can't find it anywhere else but right here in Orlando, Florida. I'm pretty sure these are chairs from Disney's Contemporary Resort. I might be wrong, but they're definitely a Disney Resort. And these sleeper sofas are 100% Disney sleeper sofas. You can see all the hidden Mickeys in the fabric itself. How cool is that? And $149 for this. But like I said, it's an actual sleeper sofa. Like it opens right up into a bed. I think that's such a good deal. Please correct me in the comments if you do know what some of these items are. Like I said, I'm just kind of guessing at this point. Like some things I do know, like I know exactly where these are from, but like that sofa, I don't know where that's from. It might be from World of Lodge, like I said, or the Contemporary or Saratoga. I mean, there's a lot of different resorts going through refurbishments right now, but I would love to know. These right here are Disney Cruise Line chairs. These are $39.99 each, and look at how comfy these are. They look very sturdy. Oh, wow. $39.99, they're heavy too. Like, <laughs> that's so crazy. From a Disney Cruise Line ship to a thrift store in the middle of Kissimmee, Florida. That's mind blowing. It is super hot in here. I don't know why, but it seems like every thrift store I ever go into has no AC and they're just kind of powered by fans. So it's gonna be a hot one. And I can tell you, I see a couple of items that I do know where they are just from recognition. And these aren't really anything special unless you know what they are. These right here are the nightstands from the all-star movies and music resorts. $10 each, look how many there are. Hundreds, hundreds. You can literally have a little Disney All-Stars in your house for $20 on both sides of your bed. Look at that. No, there's like no hidden Mickeys or anything like that. They seem like they're in good shape. Need to get cleaned up a little bit. Looks like somebody spilled their high C punch in there. <laughs> and holy moly, what a jackpot here. These look like the entertainment centers. This is so cool. Oh wow, what a deal. Okay, so you get an entertainment center you get this whole entire entertainment center a tv these lg tvs and a mini fridge for the low low price of a hundred and five dollars 
that is absolutely amazing entertainment cabinet with tv and mini fridge 105 dollars and they have plenty of them it's probably hard to actually ship this though but wow that is such a deal a couple of other sofa bed uh but these are like recliner sofa bed sleepers and i think these are from wilderness lodge they have that wilderness lodge look to them that's really that's really nifty yeah 149 dollars. oh it comes with ottomans oh so you get these with them wow well that's not a bad deal beds in there look at that definitely a bunch of used furniture from walt disney world resort how would you guys feel about that i think it's cool i mean the ones with the hidden Mickeys are probably the coolest ones. For $149, I would want to get something that has Mickeys all over it. Speaking of hidden Mickeys, I wanted to come back to these chairs because I think that there's actually hidden Mickeys on these ones, but they're really hidden Mickeys. It all depends on how these line up, and these are only $24.99. Wow, I really would love to know where these chairs come from. A lot of this stuff isn't marked. The Disney Cruise Line chairs are marked, but you have to actually dig a little bit. And I've noticed I found a couple of things like kind of buried underneath it. And I'm pretty sure these are Disney items as well. All of these chairs under here look very, very familiar. I think I've seen these at the All-Star Resorts. And then over here, we have this little ottoman. And I know that I've seen those before. I think those are Saratoga Springs in the background, but like, Almost all of this, I think, is Disney stuff. Like, this is this is pretty amazing, don't you think? What about these pineapple chairs? I'm not too sure about those. Remember what I said before, it's always powered by fans. Look at that, not for sale, store use only. And look, we got some TVs set up here. Who remembers these box TVs? But over here is something really fancy. How about some resort safes? <laughs> that is so cool. I mean, I don't think I would ever use one, but they have a whole bunch of them. How much do they cost? Oh, $49.99. Wow, that's kind of a little expensive. <laughs> I mean, wow. Did they bolt down or anything? It's still really interesting. Earlier, there was a sign that said they do pin trading, so I'm going to take a look at some of their pins. But first, I want to rummage through like the used electronics area. You can always get yourself a couple good wires whenever you come to a thrift store. And look, here's some more of those Disney Resort uh, telephones. All-Star Music Room 5413. What's this one? All-Star Music Room 5406. So that's kind of cool. It'd be cool to actually get the phone that you actually stayed in that room. Oh, is this like an old typewriter too? Oh, maybe I'm going to peek on that side. I'm going to go over here and take a look-see. Oh yeah, there's a couple of them here. 900, oh not 900, holy moly. $100 for this one. And then you got this one. And this one has like a little case with it. I don't know why, those really fascinate me. They also have an abundance of stereo equipment. This is all stuff that you would find in a resort. But like, I'm just like, kind of like in shock. I wish I could find a VCR. I thought for sure I'd find a VCR in here, but I don't see any of them. I feel like they might actually be coming very rare and hard to find. And it used to be that you can just like pick one up from a thrift store for like $10, but I'm not seeing any here. The only reason I'm looking for a VCR is because I also always like to look at the used VHS tapes, especially the Disney ones, because I feel like that's like a nostalgia feeling. I have no idea why, but I love it. I also like Harriet the Spy. I always want to get the orange one, you know what I mean? That one was super cool. Oh yeah, looks like we got a actual good collection here. Oh, there's the Harriet Spy. Always here. Look at this. I'm going to try to pull it out without knocking all these down. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember this because it was orange. There she is. So cool. But I also see the land before time. I see Jumanji up here. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, well, that's a good one to have. And then they have the Borrowers, Pocahontas 2. And then I think this one, I actually had this one. It's like a knockoff Snow White. Happily Ever After. Still really awesome. Now we're going to go look at some of the pins that they have. And they have them like laid out, a nice little display. I don't know if any of them are going to be really good or I don't know actually anything. I don't know much about pins, but maybe you guys can tell me. Look at, they've got tons and tons of Disney pins here. I think that is so cool. And also, they've got some buttons here. Now, I would like to see 
some of the old buttons, but I don't think I see any because I do like the old happy birthday ones. Oh, what's this one? Oh, this one's really awesome. Oh, wow, they have a bunch of them. Boardwalk pins. Oh, somebody's old happily ever after. The 11. This one is really cool too. Oh, here's a 45th anniversary one. These are $2 each. Some of them are old, old. Also looks like they've got some old Disney knickknacks here. Well, not really old. Like I can see this Mickey Mouse is a little bit old, but like things from 2015, a little autograph and photo book. This looks like something from uh, Universal Studios Harry Potter. Oh, Trivia Pursuit, that's not from Universal Studios. A nice little Santa's workshop. And then a couple of these too. See, it's like so funny to see these things because people probably bought this and then ended up just like donating it. Oh, some picture frames. I see that. Now that one I know is from Saratoga Springs. So if they do have some picture frames, that means they might have some other ones. So I'm gonna have to look through here. This one kind of looks a little fancy. I'm not too sure what that is. Looks like a little carpet down there. Huh, this actually looks really interesting. I don't know what it's from though. Let's see what they got back here. This is how Disney actually binds their artwork, so it might be something. Oh boy. This is Disney Saratoga Springs too. Oh yeah, Grand Union Hall, Saratoga. This is a beautiful piece. $40 for it though. It might be just for the frame alone. You can see the, the work inside that frame. It is so hot in here. I am roasting, so I think I think I've kind of browsed enough in here, and I think I'm gonna go right next door, get myself some fresh squeezed orange juice at Orange World, because that's actually right next door, and I wanted to show you kind of a uh, general area of where this thrift store is located. I guess we'll just take one last look down the uh, glass and plateware. I always like looking for glasses, I don't know why. I have probably so many of them, and maybe if some of this stuff is resort like used or coffee mugs i don't know like i always looking for like that fancy glass i never get to use them i mean of course we got food and wine glasses people are going crazy for those and i wonder if you get some fancy lamps too i mean there's a lot of good stuff in here you can also get a whole bunch of ice melt here in florida that's pretty cheap 6.99 for one of these bad boys never know when it's gonna snow one more thing before I go, as we're walking out, I think this is really fancy. This little pin stand that they actually have here. Now these aren't really Disney pins, I don't think. I think these are like a third party pin, like thing that sells, but the stand itself is definitely a Disney merchandise stand. How crazy is that? I bet you it's from either Animal Kingdom or you know where I think this is from? This is from Indiana Jones. Yeah, I think this is Indiana Jones, maybe. It's so cool because it still has the little uh, pull away thing, so whenever it rains. But it's so cool that it's here. Whew, it was so hot in there. It's hot out here, I think it's 93 degrees. You need a lot more than just some fans and a very weak AC system. But I feel like all thrift stores are like that. Anyone that I've ever been to, really, it's always hot, stuffy. You got that smell of dust and it's, it's definitely a rough one. But here we are outside and I'm gonna show you where we're located next to because it's a kind of famous landmark. It's the Orange World. We've got the Hope Thrift Store, the Segway Bike Shop, an Indian restaurant, a Dippin' Dots ice cream parlor, a whole ice cream parlor dedicated to Dippin' Dots, and then Orange World right over there. You can see the gigantic orange. So we're gonna go get some fresh squeezed orange juice. And here we are, Orange World, Disney towels, mugs, pins, tickets, Florida watermelon, so many amazing things, all inside the world's largest orange. Huh, we're gonna get ourselves some orange juice. I'm feeling a lot cooler already and now I'm gonna show you around a little bit of Orange World only because it's right next door and this is like a really cool spot I feel like. I mean, you definitely see it from a while like driving down the road and you're like, oh, well that looks interesting. Now you get to take a look-see. We've got orange plants right here and then we've also just got a whole bunch of different types of oranges. Look at this. Sweet watermelon. Notice everything has to have Mickey on it. Red navel. Ruby red grapefruit, 
So many oranges. They also give out free samples too, but it looks like because of COVID, they're not really doing that or they have an attendant doing it. And this is how they make your orange juice. 12 ounces of all natural, unpasteurized OJ. $3.50. Definitely got resort prices here. You can also get some Yahoo. <laughs> Along with some fancy orange juice, you can get some orange blossom perfume. I like that. We can ship it also if she wants to order it from home. Oh, really? Oh, well, fancy. You get some specially orange perfume. <laughs> oh, wow. We're getting all the works. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's going to do it for me. I got my unpasteurized orange juice hanging out here in Orange World and yeah, it was just a quick little video, fun little video to show you some cool things that you can find in thrift stores and I don't know, I really thought, I really think it is really cool and interesting. Maybe I'm wrong, but let me know in the comments, do you like videos like this? Like I said, I know you like the higher end stuff and the really cool, super rare memorabilia. And I have another video actually coming out probably within a couple of days from now. And uh, we're gonna get some Main Street Emporium windows again, a couple different ones and some amazing Disney art I can't wait to show you, uh, but yeah. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of video and maybe I'll do a little bit more and actually explore around the Orlando area. I gotta try my orange juice while I'm here. Mm. Oh wow, that is so good. That is like super, super refreshing. <laughs> wow, 350, it's totally worth it. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.